Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. So I've been working on so much cuteness that I do have a cuteness overload right now and I really need to start working in my deliberate dilutions again to get it down a bit and then I want to make something cute again. <laughs> so uh, talking about cute, I got this in the mail today. Um, this was a... I ordered some paints and stuff and this was sent later. They didn't have it anymore so... They said they're gonna send it uh, later and that was today. So yay, I'm really happy with this. So um, let's see what's in here. Oh, you can see it on the back side, of course, but let's see the real thing. We've got some doggies. Doggies and more doggies. And more <laughs> this cute doggy. Oh, my kittens. I made something with this already. A doggy and a fish. And uh, yeah, I want to do something with Oh, it's way bigger than I thought. With a fish and an octopus. And here you have a little crab. <laughs> I think this one is too big. This one is gonna go in here. And some kitties and this doggy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea with this one. <clears throat> okay, for the next time. So actually I want to start today with paints and then use maybe some sprays and then some shimmer sprays. Just use everything. <laughs> so, uh... And I've got some stencils. Well, I've got one stencil because I want bubbles. I want to make an underwater scene. So I think these two will be really great. So first I need my book. And uh, I'm gonna work in this one again. I want to make some backgrounds pretty soon. And then make backgrounds in both of them. I still haven't finished this one. Because I have so many ideas with other things. <laughs> but that's okay. It's still there in a few weeks. So. So, this was the last one. So next page. This page. So I think I'm going to start with some light blue. And then just spritz some one of these colors or two of these colors over it. I don't know exactly. Just start with the paint. Okay. So I've got... I'm gonna put one under here and one under here. This is getting to be a pretty page. And I think I'm just gonna make it all this color. I'm not really sure. This is not really a color you would use for the sea, but that's why I want to use it. <laughs> Let me get one of these sponges. I think I'm gonna do the whole, whole page. Ah, oh, this works so nice. And I'm not gonna make it smooth, I'm gonna make it a bit with circles, even though I'm not sure if you see that when it's dry. Boo! Ooh, really thick is nice as well. <laughs> Look at that color. Wow. It's a bit too much paint. This goes so quickly, guys. <laughs> I just love this stuff. So I need to take better care of it. I need to stir it every once in a while. Which I should do right now, every time you use it. So that's what I'm going to do, because I have to leave this to dry, of course. So I'm going to leave this to dry, going to stir this, spritz some water in it, and clean this. And then I'll get back to you, then this will be dry. Okay, so this is dry. Now what? I can, of course, put some paint over it with this, but I can also try and use my dilution sprays. So I've got these colors, maybe some purple. And I always have a bit yellow. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do something. <laughs> so I need some more paper for my desk. Yes, I still haven't found that box, but that's because I haven't been looking. And if you watched my previous video of me decluttering the attic, I haven't found it yet, so I don't think I have it anymore. Oh well. Okay, let's get started. I just want... want I, do I want to spray this on here? No, I don't. I'm just going to spray this. <laughs> Miss. Whoa, this one is a bit, um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it doesn't have a, a fine mist, it just goes over it. 
but that's okay. A bit of blue. Here we go. Blue, clean the nozzle. And I'm gonna go with a bit of light green, which doesn't work anymore. Oh, here it comes. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, right, and some water. Look at that. Oh, I like it. Uh, shall I leave it to... <laughs> to drop? To drop. Sorry, that's English and Dutch <laughs> together. <laughs> to drip, I wanted to say, but in Dutch it's druppelen. So here it goes. Look at that. Oh, I like that. Yes, yes, I like this. Let's get the bottom ones. I don't want this to stay in the other pages. Yeah. So, I need to dry this. Like that. <laughs> and the rest I'm gonna blot. Ooh, that looks nice. That's what I did last time. You're stamping with it actually. <laughs> you're blotting it <laughs> okay so it's almost all gone actually it's all gone <laughs> what <laughs> look at that it's all gone okay I thought you could use everything over each other well let's try that again that's odd I thought if the paint was dry, you could spritz on it. That's why I heard Diane say you can combine all the products. It looks nice, but it's not what I was going for. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. I'm going to take some new paper. What did I do wrong? If you know, let me know. Won't help because, well, I'm filming right now. So, a um, bit more light green. And a bit purple. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. What's going on? Let's just plot these drops a bit. My hands are gorgeous by now. Let's see what happens when I dry this. Well, that's better. So let's spritz some more of this bright green. So you don't, uh, don't use water when you spritz it over the paint. Maybe if I let it dry for a day, maybe it works better. But it was really dry, so... So, a bit of this. Oh, I have to clean the nos nozzle. Keep forgetting. And a bit more light green, because that looks really nice. This is what I want. And a bit more blue. the nozzle. Come on. Okay, I'm going to dry this again. You see that? This page is almost dry. It kind of vanishes into the paint. Okay, well then I'm go the, the purple stays on. You see that? I'm just gonna add another layer. I'm not going to give up. More, even more. Yellow, lots of yellow. <laughs> now tell me, what do you see? <laughs> I see a frog. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need to blot this. <laughs> Looks really weird. <sighs> okay, a bit more yellow. Guys, this is weird. Look at that. <laughs> it all just vanishes into the paint again. That's so weird. But it looks different than it did. Let's just spot this dry. 
So I'm curious to see if I use just water, what will happen? Oh, that's nice. It turns into a color. <laughs> because there's loads and loads of dilution spray on here. It should do something. And I think it does. Wouldn't it be nice if it stays this color? Probably won't, but wouldn't it be nice? My hands aren't green. This is magic. My hands are white and wet, but the splats turn green. And I think I can do even more magic because I think when it dries, it just vanishes again. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm just going to leave it to dry like this now. So let's find out what happens. Let's watch it dry. Now I'll get back to you later. <laughs> Nothing. It's all gone. <laughs> Well, this was fun, but still, guys, oh, wait. Still, it's got a whole lot of things going on. <laughs> so I want to try this for a second. Now I need to cover this because I don't want, I want you to see this. I'm not sure if this is going to work just with water. And take this off and put it on the other side put it down like this normally you're gonna get something really nice I'm not sure what it's gonna do now if this is gonna stay on so we're gonna watch it dry again if I have the patience for that no it's vanishing okay well this is a really nice background took some doing I think I'm gonna go in with some pen, uh, paint pens and stuff. This is not what I expected. Okay, I'm gonna leave this to dry and I'm going to color these with, with, I'm gonna make one of them orange, but orange was the one that had a blob, I think. So, well, let's find out. I'm gonna color the whole thing orange. Guys, I really don't like this. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's just, uh, I can't, my hands are a bit shaky and uh, I can't really work well with these. I love these, but at the moment, this just doesn't work. Or maybe it's this paper. I don't know. I just don't like it. So I have a deliberate dilution journal, but uh, well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna color this one in with my Copics, my trusted Copics. Although I want this to be not, no, maybe I do want it to be white. I'm not sure. Maybe I want the edge in another color. I think maybe, don't tell anyone. I think I might use Copics and uh, some Tim Holtz ink. <laughs> I don't have her ink, otherwise I would have used it, but I don't have that. So <laughs> I'm going to use some Distress ink too. To um, give this a little bit of color because I just think it's too white for this one. That looks better. It does. I actually think it looks really great now. <laughs> okay, this is not. Okay, guys, I really hate this one, <laughs> so I'm gonna toss it and I'm gonna get the other one. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the other fishy? So that's handy of this. It's already ready to go. Here we go. Let's just do that again. Today is not a day for working with dilution sprays in a brush. It just doesn't work today. Maybe it's me. It probably is, but it just doesn't work. And this didn't work the way I wanted it. But to be honest, it looks really nice by now. Not the way I wanted it to look, but it looks nice. So I'm just going to color this and then I'll get back to you because you've seen me coloring for a while now and it's gonna be boring. <laughs> see when this is finished. <laughs> and then you won't see me using other products. Ooh. Okay, so I colored them in using uh, the cupcakes I have left and some stamping up uh, markers, al alcohol markers. Wouldn't it be great if she made markers, not paint pens, but markers to color the, you know, the stamps in. So uh, dilutions, Diane, if you have uh, 
if you want a new product, we want markers in the same colors. At least I do. <laughs> I don't know about the rest of you, but I would love that. And um, yeah, this is not really what I wanted, but uh, it looks great. Wait, I forgot. I want to put some shimmer over it. This looks really nice, doesn't it? I think so. So I'm going to put some shimmer over this. <laughs> I just had my cleaned my desk, so well, I can use some spray <laughs> on my desk again. So let's do this again. One in here, one in here. And the question is, um, wait, let's just first do this. And one over here. I have some of the shimmer sprays over here. I think I would like these two. And a bit of blue maybe. Okay. So first I'm gonna shake them. I haven't used them in a, in a while. Okay, here we go. And uh, something to clean this with. And a bit of this. This is really light, so I'm curious what it's gonna do. I want some drops as well. So I deliberately <laughs> made it uh, drop a little. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay on. And a bit of blue. Oh. Here we go. Can't wait to see what that looks like when it's finished. That's nice when you got a little drop on here, just flick it off. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna stop for today. I'm going to leave this to dry, completely leave it to dry. And then come back in tomorrow with my paint pens and these two cuties that I really like by now. And uh, I think this is going to vanish into the background again, but the shimmer is probably going to stay on top. So let's find out together tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning and this has dried overnight and look how gorgeous it is. I love the shimmer. It's not really in your face shimmer, but look at that. So like this, you hardly see it. And then here, shimmer. <laughs> I love the big drops. So that's a nice tip when you sp uh, spray with shimmer spray and you see that there's just a little blot on blot little drop on the nozzle then you just shake your uh, <laughs> right it's still early you just shake your um spray bottle and then you get these blobs and i love those okay but this um looks great but it's not exactly the look i was going for what i wanted was this <laughs> I wanted to see this, these lighter patches where you put water and because I uh, sprayed over the paint with um, normal dilution sprays, I thought that would happen. I thought that you would see this light paint through where I uh, splashed water, but that just didn't happen. And that's a shame because I thought it would, but oh well, it still looks great. It's just like this page with, uh, with a mud. Uh, that didn't turn out the way I wanted. Look how great that looks. So this looks great as well. <laughs> um, so I have these two fishies, or fishy and octopus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've been going through my stamps just now. I think I want to use some of these or these to make some water plants and maybe these because I, I just love this one. I use it on almost every page. And um, I was looking for a quote. What did I see? Uh, I'm perfect just the way I am. I like it because they look so weird. Or I was one that said, I was going to give you a nasty look, but I see you already have one. I think that's great because they look, well, not really nasty, but weird. So yeah, I think I'm gonna use that one. It's funny. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, Archival Ink by Ranger because apparently I can use this one. Because if you, if you watch my videos often you know that I don't have that much strength in my hands. So uh, this usually goes wrong. <laughs> so that's why I have the Misty tool. That's better. 
and this ink is really awesome. I normally use Versafine, which I absolutely love, but I have trouble getting a nice print with that. And look at this. I like that. And I think I'm going to go back in with uh, some paint pens. I keep saying pens, like, like they're trousers. <laughs> Paint pens. So I want some darker ones. I'm gonna clean this uh, right away. <laughs> I wanted to say later on, but let's just do it right now. I don't know where my baby wipes are right now, so I'm going to do it like this. Um, some darker plants. I can use a bit of color, but I won't. Okay. <laughs> it's way too early for decisions like this <laughs> I only just had breakfast guys <sighs> okay I like the look of this so there really isn't that much room for the fishes or the sentiment a really nice image on my sheet so of course this needs to dry again so let's go over it with my heat tool okay I feel like this is some kind of magic show because now this is vanishing a bit <laughs> it's not as black as it was when I just stamped it <laughs> oh, oh well but you can still see it let's see what it looks like ah it's dry dry enough yes okay so weird fishies oh i can still pull this off <laughs> yes i want i want that sentiment so where's my acrylic block i'm gonna put it on a piece of paper i always have scraps of paper next to me so i can use them or stuff like this see that doesn't work let's do it again <laughs> uh. that's better so this needs to needs to dry first because I want to go over it with light blue again you know, the dilutions, <laughs> distress ink. Okay, the Rangers, the Tim Holtz distress ink, but you know. So, I haven't stamped the bubbles, but uh, I think that's going to be too much. But first I need to... Uh... <sighs> right, did I say it was early in the morning? It is. So let's cut this and put it on the page and uh, I'll just glue everything on and then I'll get back to you otherwise this video is gonna be way too long you know I just get glue and I glue it on the page you know how that works don't need to show you so see you in a minute okay well I wanted to um, put the sentiment on the page but I thought I might first go in with uh, paint pens <laughs> I was going to give you a nasty look I just see you already have one. I want to do it like this. Okay. So now I want to to make some bubbles. I love the way that it just immediately works again. I just shook them before uh, starting to uh, record again because that's a really nice sound. <laughs> So I thought, you know what, I'm going to shake some of these already. And uh, they just immediately work. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I 
These are awesome. These, they, they are awesome. I want to buy more of them. I'm going to go to um, the Art Specialty event. Might have told you about it. It's a stamping event in the Netherlands. And, uh, oh, this is really subtle. <laughs> um, I want to go there and I want to hope to buy some more of these dilution paint pens because I absolutely love them. So now I want to go over this with a bit of green or white. I'm not sure. Well, green apparently. Oh. There, uh, there is a octopus, uh, octopus <laughs> over my stamps, so I can't color them. Oh well. I love this, just randomly doing this, you know, not really neatly, just a little bit. You know, just, I'm not even sure if you can see it. I can see it, it's really subtle. You can see the difference. This one is still not with the green, this is only black, and here you have some green over it. But I'm just um, not doing it really neatly, and that's partially because I really like the way that looks, and because it's way easier. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you... Your leaf is a different shape than what it is on the on the stamp because you know it looks artsy and I'm going for artsy <laughs> that's green I think I'm going to leave this the way it is it's really subtle actually can you see it I'm not sure it shows on camera but it just gives it just a little bit more color and I I really like it so Shall I go in with white or shall I leave it dark like this? What do you think? I'm gonna leave it like this. What like that? Wow. Let's see, because this is light enough, but I see you already have one. That was over here. I was going. Of course there's one missing. <laughs> Did I throw it away? I hope I didn't. This always happens. Where is it? Ah, here it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just gonna glue this on. So, shall I do something else or shall I think... No, this is enough. I really, really want to go around it with a border. You know, like um, like this one or... Over here, there's a really light white border, or over here, there's a dark border, or some border like this. I really, really want to do that, but I think I'm going to leave it like this. So I don't think it'll show up. It shows up on camera the way I see it, but it's really subtle the the colors that you see that I put in with the paint pens, and uh, well, there's nothing subtle about those two. <laughs> and the background is just really dark. It's a bit of a dark page. So it's deep under the sea, where there are still plants. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. I like it. You like it too? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, you know, I would love a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe. And if you want to be notif notif <laughs> if you want to be notified uh, when I have a new video, then hit that uh, little bell that you can see on your screen. Uh, but if you don't, just know that I have a creative video every Monday and Wednesday and a Disney video every Saturday and then something in between. Next week I have the winner of my giveaway. Guys, you can still enter until uh, next Wednesday. Um, you can still enter my giveaway. Go to my giveaway video. So don't comment on this video or another one. Comment on my giveaway video and I'll enter you in the giveaway. So check that out. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. And all that's left to say now is... It's time for morning tea and uh, groetjes from the Netherlands. The Netherlands? I always say Holland. It's the same, but there's a subtle difference. Okay. Whoa, and it's early. Um, groetjes from Holland. Bye. <laughs>